So this is the end of the How to Use Famitracker series. If you've made it this far, thank you so much. It is a joy to teach people and help them learn something that they have a passion for. I wanted to convey some final thoughts in this video that don't really have much of a place in the space in the prior lessons. Primarily, I wanted to talk about the best way to learn Famitracker, especially if you're familiar with more modern DAWs like FL Studio or Ableton. When I started learning Famitracker, I had already made a handful of chiptune tracks in my primary DAW, Ableton. I had all the notes and everything written, and it was just the effort of transcribing them into Famitracker. I found this the ideal way to learn because it completely separated my creative process and my learning process. I was able to focus on learning the system without having to worry about being creative in any particular way. Eventually, I became comfortable enough with entering notes to write my own songs from scratch. So my best suggestion would be to take tunes you've already written and try to transcribe them into Famitracker as chiptune tracks. If you don't have any songs of your own right now, try looking up NES games and just recreating the songs that you like in there. I mean, some soundtracks like Super Mario Brothers and Mega Man get complicated super fast, but something like Metroid has really great songs that are pretty simple. Find something you love and then just work on transcribing it. And also, this might be a bit of a hot-button topic, but I would also suggest learning the real basics of music theory if you haven't yet. Um, you will be at a bit of a disadvantage when it comes to using Famitracker, considering how everything works and flows together, because it all uses like notes like D and F and, you know, it, knowing the distance between notes helps a ton. Um, even knowing the basics will help a lot. I've included a link in the video description about how I learned music theory for pretty much free. It just took a little bit of time and effort. Um, Finally, I wanted to say that if you found this video helpful, please uh, help spread the word out. My social media reach can only go so far, and any help and support you can give on that front would be incredibly valuable. If someone is showing an interest in making chiptune music, I would love to be the one teaching them um, the basics. Um, so if you're watching this video in the How to Use Famitracker playlist, I have included a bunch of Famitracker production videos where I make a song from start to finish. If you are interested in that process, I hope you watch the videos and find them helpful and inspiring. Um, as always, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below or through my Twitter account above. If you found this video series interesting, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to my channel because I'm going to make lots of stuff like this in the future. So thank you again for watching the How to Use Fem Tracker series. Happy chipping!